Welcome to Go Configure's Venus tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to use the Venus system online. Venus is the proprietary program that we use to manage orders, uh, both in terms of collecting orders from our vendors and then managing and dispatching them and making sure they're complete. The address to access the Venus website is venus.dontshoot.com slash venus slash venus dot html and this system performs best using the Apple Safari browser however I believe you can use Internet Explorer and Firefox however those do not perform as well they're just a little slower so this is the logon screen so you'll enter your tech ID and then your password which is the last four of your social and log in this will bring you to the main menu You've got work orders, settlements, and issue management. Just real quick, we'll cover issue management. I think there's a sample in here, a sample issue. When something goes wrong with the job and the dispatcher is looking for more information from you or an action from you, um, they'll put an issue in here and it will be assigned to you as the contractor. So I'll just double click this just to show you briefly. Um, Again, this is just a, a sample, but what we'll do is we'll just type in a resolution, just test, add it. And on any of these screens, I believe you have to click Save. If you don't like what you did, you can cancel, but once you hit Save, that's going to be in there. And if I go in now, there's the test. So with our issue management anyone who accesses this order or this issue can see the notes that you've entered in there so I'm just going to cancel and whenever you open a window it shows up in the bottom here from left to right so we've got issue management open if I click settlements view settlements which I don't think there'll be any in here but this would show you I believe by payout date what you got paid um, and again the window show down here so I've still got issue management I can toggle back and forth if I want to go back to that contractor settlements is still there and if I want to go to work orders and look at my dispatch board again this is just a test but I've got three orders sitting out there waiting for me to route and or schedule now depending on your ability and the ability that the uh, dispatcher or your district manager has given you, uh, you may be able just to route jobs or you may be able to schedule jobs. It depends on what kind of uh, access he's given you. So let's just look at the first job here. We've got three jobs. They're assigned to you or this contractor and then it just has the information. So deliver to, where we're picking up from, phone numbers, SKUs, etc. So let's just go to the first one and we can right click on it. And that's going to bring up a window to schedule and assign a time window. So let's say we want to do these three jobs all on the same day. So we'll just go to the calendar and we're going to do them on the 4th, let's say. And the time window, that's in military time, so we're going to do it starting at 8 o'clock and we're going to put a two hour time window on this one so it's going to be from 8 to 10 and save and then we can go to the second one schedule date again we're going to pick Tuesday the 4th and we're going to say this one is going to take oops, a time window between 10 and 12 and save changes and the last one here fourth from 12 to 2 not sure why this one didn't schedule let's take a look I think that was the first one. Let me try that again. Oops. Fourth, ten, 
Oops, this was eight actually. There, there it took. So all of these jobs are now scheduled. This shows up on our dispatch board as well, so we know um, that you've scheduled these jobs and they're they're routed. Now, depending again on the status that you have with our dispatchers and our managers, you can have the ability to route, which was the, if we look at this here, that's the time window part. So if you've got, let's say three, four jobs, five jobs in a day, uh, you can assign the order and the times that you want to do those. So that's routing. Scheduling is actually choosing the day. And we've got some very strict controls on that. You'll have to talk to your uh, district managers or dispatchers, and they can tell you the criteria and the rules for, for scheduling uh, if you're allowed to do so. So I'm just going to click out of here. And one other thing to note, um, you cannot, once you've scheduled it, you cannot change it. You can change a time window once, but once it's scheduled, it's scheduled. So any time that you would need to change a scheduled date, uh, you would have to contact your dispatcher or district manager, and uh, they would have to change that for you. So just something to note. And again, these open windows, uh, please keep those in mind because you could keep going here and uh, opening up another window, and it's going to slow down your, your access here. So... Um, see you've got both or I've got both windows open or two of the same windows open and uh, that's just unnecessary so I'm just going to go up here and close it and I'm back to my dispatch board I'm going to close that contractor settlements I don't have any close that back to issues and I'm going to close that so this is just a real brief way to nav navigate the system hopefully <laughs> It's been of some help. If you have any questions at all, please contact your district manager and or dispatcher and they can help you further. Thank you.